Hi everybody, we're going to take a quick look at how to find x-intercepts here, uh, particularly if the function is given to you in vertex form. So let's just make up something here. Let's say we've got, I don't know, let's say y is equal to, uh, say negative 2 x plus 3 squared plus, let's say 5. Whatever, just need some numbers here. So here we've got um, a parabola in vertex form. Now, before we even jump into this, one of the things you want to do is is get a sense, am I even going to be able to find x-intercepts here? Well, you know that the vertex here is the point negative 3, 5, and you know based on the the value of the a uh, constant here that this thing is going to open down. So really rough sketch. I know the vertex is going to be over here. It's going to open down. And so yeah, I can see right away that this thing is going to have two distinct x-intercepts. Okay, so this that's a, a sign of me that I can move ahead with this problem here. And so now how do I do that? Well, first thing you got to do every time we're looking for x-intercepts is we're going to make y equal to zero. Now I know the temptation for a lot of us is to square this x plus 3. And then, then that'll work. I'm not denying that that'll work. But I think we're going to get there a lot quicker if instead of doing that we're going to bring the 5 over. We've got two terms here. Okay, We're going to bring that, that q term, if you think about it in terms of our vertex form, bring that over first. So I subtract that from both sides. Okay, Now I've just got one term on the right hand side. I'm going to divide both sides by the negative 2 because I want to get rid of the coefficient there. Now the negatives will cancel, which is good. And I'm getting a fraction. But that's okay. Just leave it like that. Leave it just like that. Don't worry about it. Don't write the decimal. Just, just leave it. It's fine. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides to get rid of the square. And remember, this is that, that one spot here where it is, it is common to forget to put in one extra thing here. Now, writing the square root is good, but it's not enough. You don't know whether the intention was that this was the positive square root or the negative square root of, of whatever's inside there or whatever that's equivalent to. So I've got to put the plus or minus there, and then I bring the 3 over, and I'm going to subtract the 3. Now, when I bring that over, I'm going to put it in front. Uh, it's just a little bit easier to read if you do that. So I'm going to take that positive 3, subtract it from both sides, and it's going to be negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. okay, And that's the answer that we're, we're looking for. Uh, depending on what's being asked here, you may be asked to rationalize that, uh, but for right now, that's, that's good enough.